Hey what's going on everyone, it's Sam and today I thought that I would talk to you about being a trans guy and going to the gym and fitness. So I've done a couple of bodybuilding slash fitness videos for trans guys before but I thought that I would aim this one at people who really don't want to go to the gym um, because it's just not their thing, maybe they're too anxious for whatever reason but they want to improve their kind of masculine body. So I'm saying it like that purely because I know that there's a lot of opinions on saying that a guy should have big arms and whatnot, but let's just for the purpose of this video, let's just go along with me saying that you want to get a masculine body, so yeah, let's get on with this. Okay, so before I start this video, I thought that it was only right that I tell you who this video is for and who this video isn't for. So this video is for transgender guys who are pretty, transgender guys who are on hormone blockers, or any transgender guy who is looking for a really, really simple workout plan. So who this video isn't for is for any trans guy, cisgender guy, or anyone in between who is looking for a crazy hardcore workout plan. This is not gonna be crazy hardcore whatsoever. This is going to be the bare minimum. And this video is also not for people who are looking for a full body split because we are only going to be training the bare minimum like I've said. Also a quick disclaimer before I start this video, it is crucial with any workout split that you get your diet on track. Um, it doesn't matter how much work you put in at the gym, if your diet isn't you know on track um, and you haven't got your macros set then there really isn't going to be a huge difference um, in what you're seeing. So I myself go to the gym and train as a bodybuilding split um, for six days a week. I'm pre-team myself and I don't think I'm really going to be getting on testosterone until kind of next year and I'm currently on hormone blockers. I love going to the gym, it's my passion, it's something that I want to incorporate into my future as a career but I know that that's definitely not how everyone feels at all. It can be really difficult being a trans guy and obviously the main part of being trans is that you're in the wrong body and the way that we see being able to fix that is by going on to different types of medications i.e. hormones or um, having surgery, i.e. chest surgery, bottom surgery, I know there's a lot of different types of those but you know what I mean. So I thought that I would create a workout split that is going to predominantly hit the muscles that are deemed as most masculine. So there's five body parts that I would suggest that you train in this very simple workout plan. We've got shoulders, traps, biceps, triceps and chest. So this split is going to be two days out of your week and that is really the bare minimum that you can get away with doing. We're going to split it up into something called push and pull. Okay, so why have I chosen these parts? So let's start off with shoulders. So with a lot of cisgender guys, you'll see that the shoulders are quite thick and quite broad. So along here, it's very broad, very upright. And working on shoulders, even if you are, you know, pre-T, obviously it is incredibly difficult for women to put on anywhere near as much muscle as men. However, it is possible. Um, I've seen you know, a big change in my physique. I've been training for two years now. Like I say, I am pre-T, so you're probably looking at me thinking that I'm like ridiculously skinny, but actually compared to a lot of you know, trans guys who haven't trained, my arms are you know, doing okay. Now, I myself am naturally quite broad here um, for you know, a female body my shoulders are quite broad. But you'll see with a lot of guys who go on to testosterone, they'll say something along the lines of, you know, I can really see that my shoulders have become quite broad. That's because testosterone does that to you. It makes your shoulders a bit broader. So therefore, by training shoulders, you're going to be making them slightly thicker, slightly wider. It's definitely a body part that you should train. Okay, so the next muscle part that I said was the traps. Now, I'm going to say this in a completely unscientific way, since this is a video for newbies, beginners, whatnot. So the traps are basically located on the upper back and they also wrap around your neck and your shoulders. Just like with the shoulders, having slightly bigger traps will enhance that masculine look. Okay, so moving on to biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps are the arm muscles. You've got your biceps here and your triceps here. Obviously, it's common knowledge um, that cisgender guys will have slightly bigger arms than women. Um, especially if obviously they train them, they'll have very big arms. Training biceps and triceps, that would just be probably the first place that a trans guy would go to to train. A lot of guys will say, you know, I want bigger arms. So obviously it's crucial that you train biceps and triceps. There are a lot of people 
who don't know much about fitness will miss out the triceps where actually it's really important to hit the triceps because the triceps actually make up more of the arm than the biceps. Okay, so I've included chest in this workout because I think it's pretty important that you hit it. So for the purpose of not wanting to set anyone off with dysphoric feelings, I'm going to use the word chest to refer to here. I think you know what I'm on about. There isn't going to be a massive drop in chest size um, unless you're overweight. If you're overweight and you train chest, you the chances are you will drop chest size because there is a lot of fat around that area. If um, you're like myself and there isn't much fat around that area, it really is, you know, I hate to say the word, chest chest tissue, you guys know what I'm on about. I really don't want to set off anyone's dysphoric feelings about that area. There isn't going to be a massive difference. However, it's not going to hurt you. You know, it will do a bit there um, and it will definitely help in terms of shaping that area. Especially, now this is for um, people who are on testosterone. If you're going in for chest surgery, it's crucial that you train chest um, for... I would say six months leading up to your chest surgery because it's really going to help to shape that area um, so that your surgeon can mould your chest around those muscles. And another reason to train chest if you are a trans guy on testosterone, if you guys haven't ever seen Ty Turner, and I'm pretty sure you have, if you've seen my channel then I'm sure you've seen his channel because he's probably got quite a few more followers than I have then there, I'll link, I'll actually put this video down there, but when he went on to testosterone, he also trains um, a bodybuilding split. His chest size significantly dropped um, from training chest because, um, well, I'll link that video down below, uh, down below, down there, and you guys can go and watch that. But definitely if you're on testosterone, I would especially train chest because that is going to help to drop your chest size a fair bit. So obviously, as well as doing the push-pull that I have explained about, if you want to add in any abs, um, then feel free to. And cardio, if um, you are, you know, overweight, um, then obviously add in some cardio. Um, if you are bulking, um, then if you want to add in some cardio because you have a fairly slow metabolism, then that's fine, do with your cardio as you wish. So I have gone over the body parts that I think that you should train as a pre-T trans guy. I'm not gonna give you the full workouts, I'm sure that I'm probably gonna get some dislikes for leading you onto that, I don't feel like I've led you onto that, I've told you what body parts to train, now it's up to you to figure out what uh, exercises you wanna do to you know, train those body parts. I don't wanna give, um, full workouts for those because I feel like I would just be giving way too much away for free when in the future I want to I want to charge for workout plans and things like that so I apologize for that if you go back and watch some of my previous videos there are some workouts in there that you can follow but I always say if you want to hit me up and ask me any more questions then feel free. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope that it helped you. Definitely, definitely, if you're someone who is anxious about going to the gym, nervous about what people will think, just don't be, just get in there, do it. Um, people really aren't as bad as you might think. Um, a side note on that as well, if you um, are worried about binding in the gym, I would 100% not recommend binding in the gym, by the way, as difficult as it is. Sleeveless hoodies are the way forwards. Every time I train, I wear a sleeveless hoodie. Um, they are just a complete game changer, so definitely invest in a couple of those if you are thinking about going. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video, and remember to smash that subscribe button to see more of my face. And I'll see you guys in another video.